Welcome into my office. Brian here, back with you. I think now is a good time for us to examine this beautiful two-volume set, The Life and Work of John Ruskin. Look at these spines, 1893, stamped in the, at the base in gilt. Beautiful compartments. This has almost got an arts and crafts or an art nouveau feel to it. The top edge is gilt. There are deckled edges to the text block, marbled uh, end papers. The bindings are stamped by Charles Laureate of Boston down here, so they're what's known as sign bindings. Uh, it's also a limited edition. Uh, the limitation is to be found, I'll show you, right here, 200 copies. This is number 67. Uh, what's interesting about this uh, example here is the owner, uh, the original owner, uh, wrote there in August of 1900, I went with Blanche to Coniston and then there saw the grave of Ruskin. And it's got the half title. This is a large paper edition. And then the same person is right on the, on the uh, written on the day uh, preceding the death of Ruskin. I presented this book to Blanche. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Uh, there's a mounted color lithographed frontis here with a tissue guard. A little bit of offsetting, a little bit of minor spotting, nothing offensive. And we get like so into the text where it disappears. It is clean, tight, and sound. The tissue guards are lettered with identifying uh, text. And this, uh, this illustration here is mounted. Uh, often uh, large paper examples have superior plates in them. Uh, and these plates indeed are all mounted with lettered tissue guards, like so. Uh, and you'll see that it is very clean internally. And I'm just going to show you oh, the, the pre Raphaelitism. Yeah, he was quite the art critic and uh, philosopher. The chronology and drawings and so on there. The spines are uniformly. Uh, age toned to this mellow brown, which is very typical of this color leather. It's like a green, a dark green leather, very, very often uniformly age tones with light in the room to this nice mellow color. Uh, so uh, it's unavoidable, and most examples which would have it, it's just a reaction to light in the environment. Uh, again, volume two, clean, tight, and sound. There is Ruskin as an older man, 1876. And again, limitation. It's not a married set. And there's a picture, looks like a part of his uh, personal library. Virtually all writers, philosophers, poets, and government men, and so on at this in the 19th century had personal libraries at home. It was uh, just something that some people did. You just simply built your library because that way you would have the books you wanted on hand to read, reread, reference, and so on. Uh, yes, I am a very active book collector myself with an enormous personal library, and I add to it almost every day. I research from it all the time. I'm constantly using it. It's one of my great prides and joys, aside from my children. <laughs> and so, there we go. That's a two-volume set, and it is available now uh, online from me, Brian DeMambro.